vintage photo shows early days of washing machines it is said that the washing machine did more to liberate women in the 20th century than the pill or the right to work or vote before the advent of the washing machine laundry was often done in a communal setting villages across europe that could afford it built a wash house sometimes known by the french name of lavoir an early example of washing by machine is the practice of fulling in a Fulling mill, the cloth was beaten with wooden hammers, known as fulling stocks or fulling hammers. The first English patent under the category of washing machines was issued in 1691. A drawing of an early washing machine appeared in the January 1752 issue of the Gentleman's Magazine, a British publication. The Industrial Revolution completely transformed laundry technology. Christina Hardiment. In her history from the Great Exhibition of 1851, argues that it was the development of domestic machinery that led to women's liberation. The mangle, or ringer in American English, was developed in the 19th century, two long rollers in a frame and a crank to revolve them. A laundry worker took sopping wet clothing and cranked it through the mangle, compressing the cloth and expelling the excess water. Meanwhile, 19th century inventors further mechanized the laundry process with various hand-operated washing machines to replace tedious hand rubbing against a washboard. The Thor washing machine was the first electric clothes washer sold commercially in the United States. Produced by the Chicago-based Hurley Electric Laundry Equipment Company, the 1907 Thor is believed to be the first electrically powered washer ever manufactured, crediting Hurley as the inventor of the first automatic washing machine. A large number of U.S. manufacturers introduced competing for automatic machines, mainly of the top-loading type, in the late 1940s and early 1950s. During the 1960s, twin-tub machines briefly became very popular, helped by the low price of the Rolls Razor washers. Twin-tub Washing machines have two tubs, one larger than the other. The smaller tub in reality is a spinning drum for centrifugal drying while the larger tub only has an agitator in its bottom. Some machines could pump used wash water into a separate tub for temporary storage and to later pump it back for reuse. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.